Okay, welcome to this episode, episode 19, uh, where I'm painting outdoors. Um, this time it's uh, locally, so if you'd like to see um, how I do my little um, graduated skies here, um, stay tuned and I'll show you. Hi, I'm David and I paint watercolours. I just love being outdoors and I hope these videos inspire you to do the same. So um, subscribe and welcome. Yeah, hi, welcome to this uh, episode. And um, yeah, I'm filming everything on this little camera. So be warned, it can be a little bit shaky sometimes. So yeah, I live um, very close to nature and I'm very lucky. And this episode I'm at Quarnhomen and um, I often go here and, uh, and do, a little, uh, do a quick little sketch. Um, yeah, here's my field um, palette that you've seen before. It's a Windsor Newton and um, here's a list of all my colors. Um, you'd want to pause maybe if you want to read that. But um, okay, that's enough of that. Um, here's my um, watercolor paper, which is a quarter of a quarter arc, you could say. Basically, I use a full arc of uh, watercolor paper. I quarter it, and then I quarter it again. And then I use these as my um, my sheets for, for sketching on. I carry them in my little sketch bag. So, um, yep, checking out the view here. Um, I'm going to be um, painting there. No, it's there actually. Yeah. So I'm zooming in here. I'm doing it with my mobile, so it's um, a bit grainy. But um, yeah. So um, I thought yeah, I'll do that. So I uh, started sketching, and then uh, of course um, this little um, little creepy guy, uh, caterpillar of some sort, on my page. And this is the beauty of um, being outdoors: is that just distractions all the time and. Um, um, I, I just love it. Um, I'm holding the camera above my head uh, as I draw, which is a bit of a feat. Um, but anyway, it's, um, I enjoy a challenge. Um, I'm using a two millimeter pencil here, um, my mechanical pencil. Um, it's got a soft lead, lead, soft lead, yeah. And um, the reason for that um, is I, d I don't want to dig into the paper and I don't want to be too detailed so um, a big clumsy lead like this um, kind of forces me to be a bit more um, free and um, so the, you can see in the layout the layout here is uh, basically it's like a, ch a cheese wedge um, I just like that form there it's kind of like an, a triangle um, just and, and that's it, that's, that's the painting. And I have a little boat here, which is um, helping us lead into the picture and it's pointing towards the lighthouse and then over to the houses there. And that's the composition. Um, I want the eye to, to travel around the painting and not just to point A, I want to go A, B, C. So here's my setup, um, yeah. So that's my sketch bag there and um, I fit everything into that and it's light and, and um, I can walk around town or, or the countryside with that and there's no bother whatsoever. The problem I have is um, all my camera gear. <laughs> anyway, that's another story. So here I'm, um, I'm starting off with the, the sky and um, so I'm using, mixing a bit of um, Jean Brillant and a bit of Van Dyke Blue. Um, I don't want it to be too clean the colors, but this is actually a bit too unclean, so I'm going to work on this a little bit, put in a bit more um, um, Jean Brillant, or yeah, there you go. Just wanted a bit more creamy at the start. And uh, it's important here, you can't see it, but um, the, the watercolor board is actually pointing downwards by a few degrees towards my knee kneecap. And, um, you know, when you're out in nature, you have to do, you don't have your studio, you don't have your wonderful table or anything like that. You just have to do the best you can. And here, um, you know, I've got some Van Dyke blue, um, it's Holbein. And 
building up a kind of a bead there. And so I am, so I don't have to keep going at that. I can just park that, that bead of water. And then now I want to go and work on the, the actual little island itself. And little island, it's not actually an island. Anyway, the land across, across the water there. And it's, um, it's wet still, so that's why I'm doing it now. So I, I want the colors to, to blend. Um, watercolor can become very boring if it's, um, things aren't, don't blend. Of course, it's more difficult because um, things can blend too much and lose control. Anyway, back to the um, sky. So I've added even more pigment to my brush and I'm just kind of working that line. Um, it's kind of like a little wave, you could say, of pigment there, trying to get down towards my kneecap. <clears throat> so I just keep adding pigment. And um, I'm going from Vidita blue to cobalt blue. I think I'm adding a bit of um, white as well and um, to, to make it a bit more opaque. I've loved the challenge of this. I've, you know, I'm, you can have to picture me with my left hand up in the air above my head as I'm filming this. Um, just balancing everything on my knees. <laughs> so, um, it was, um, yeah. It was good fun. So I'm using the blue that's on my brush for the, for to put in some cool areas. Um, not really necessary at this stage, but anyway, my what I really need to do is get some um, some light greens in there uh, in the trees because I want them to bl blend in with the sky. Okay, so now we're off doing the trees a little bit. So um, the sky is still wet, and um, so I, I wanted to, to, to blend a little bit there. So that's what I'm doing. I'm not 100% sure here, but maybe somebody can tell me, but because I'm using Jean Brilliant at the, at the base of the sky, um, it's a, an opaque color. And um, I find that the colors on top of it don't um, bleed as much um, on top of opaque colors. I don't know. Anyway, we've um, zapped a little bit further. Um, we've gone a little bit um, ahead here in time and now I'm working on the, um, the, sh the, sh the trees. Basically, I'm trying to um, sculpt the trees so that they become kind of uh, three-dimensional. And so I'm working with um, kind of violets here and um, cool blue colors. And I'm trying my best not to get too dark too quickly here. So yeah, I'm just trying to create um, three-dimensional forms here. Sometimes I use the back of my nail. That's okay, everything's allowed. I moved a bit forward here again, and um, you can see that the houses have taken form here. Just working away. I've actually, I go, I've zoomed ahead a few times here because it's it's too, it's a bit slow, a bit fiddly, and it'll be very boring for you guys to watch. Okay, now so I'm going to flipping the board around here, and the reason for that again is the gravity. Um, I want the, um, the sea, the water, um, to travel down towards my kneecap. You'll see what I mean in a minute. Um, I'm just getting my 
kind of a turquoise green going here. It's such a summery day, so it's um, it's almost um, the Mediterranean. Although the temperature isn't. So I'm being careful here as usual. Um, I don't use masking tape, uh, masking tape, masking fluid. I don't find that very boring. And so sometimes I have to paint quite carefully. And here I've zoomed forward really again. Um, basically, the I finished now with the um, I put in the um, the foreground, and it was traveling down towards my kneecap. So now, as you can say, it's like more or less finished. So um, I do the rest in the studio, and um, so um, here it is. Um, this is um, how it ended up. I was quite happy with it. And there's the, the whole picture. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, share with your friends. Yeah, uh, that really helps me. And um, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Um, it's a bit of a lonely job, this, uh, this uh, watercolor business. Um, so comments about the video, um, how I can improve things is most welcome. Okay, well, listen, um, stay safe out there. And um, see you in the next episode. Cheers. Okay, if you want to support this channel, you can by visiting patreon.com. Uh, my address is uh, patreon.com slash meldramart. There is lots of uh, bonus material and a weekly vlog, um, so um, you get all the latest there. Okay, cheers.